Zach Tracy, owner of Juniper Brewing Company, located in downtown Bowling Green, won two medals in December at the World Beer Championships hosted by the Beverage Testing Institute in Chicago. We submitted to an institute called the Beverage Testing Institute, and they hold a competition every year called the World Beer Championships, where breweries from all over the world can submit uh, beers and they basically grade them on style and quality. So our first was Soulshine, which has always kind of been our our flagship. You know, it it's ironic because my wife and I both, right? She had a lot of input over the years on on this recipe development, and the beer really wouldn't have been what it is today without her. I'm the one that kind of puts it all together and brews it, but. She, uh, she has a very prominent role in the R&D department. Um, so Soulshine's always been our flagship. It's, it's won homebrew awards all the way along, along the way in our, in our journeys. But so it, it scored a 92 out of 100, uh, was rated a gold, was given then a gold medal uh, and rated as exceptional. Our other one was another one of our kind of core beers, which was Interstellar Overdrive, which is one of our hazy IPAs. It scored an 86 out of 100 and was awarded a silver medal. Tracy, a graduate from BGSU with a biochemistry degree and later went on to teach high school science in Cleveland, said he could spend semesters talking about the brewing science. I love the science part and, and how tweaking different variables affects the outcome of the beer is, is something that we are constantly learning more about and studying and playing around with. There really is a lot that goes into formulating recipes and, and dialing in specific temperatures, which then ultimately affect the way, you know, the customer perceives that the beer to be. Um, and so, you know, you can go get into the weeds or, or not, and, but it's, it's a very specific and scientific kind of process. Since we've been open, we're coming up on two years, we've done over 50 different beers up to this point because we just have too much fun creating new things and we get new ideas and it's like, ooh, let's try that. We call this a grist case. And so then the grain comes out of this chute into the, what we call the mash tun. And it starts here, kind of steeps in here, basically makes like a big pot of like sugar water. And then we transfer it over to what we call the brew kettle. And this is where we're adding like all the hops or any spices or anything like that that we're doing. So it usually boils for like an hour and a half. And then we send it over to this last kettle, which is called the Whirlpool. And the Whirlpool basically, its job is to one, cool the beer, but also to drop out any sort of like particulates that are that are in there and then we send it from there through the seed exchanger over to the fermenters where then the yeast kind of does its work. My wife and I can constantly are chasing is is creating kind of the best beers and world-class beers and so you know we always feel like we're doing that but to to be recognized in a competition like this is, is some good validation for sure.